Leviathan Command. You are clear to fire the portal beam. Once the wormhole is open, order all ships to enter. Affirmative, Admiral. Message to all ships. Prepare for entry. Maintain battle formation tight. It's finally time to put an end to this. Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. In the last episode, we got the space pirate code from the GFS Valhalla in order to take control of the Leviathan battleship they had, which was we needed to create a wormhole to this planet phase. So let's scan this stuff here and see what we got. Hmm. Spores. Never played Spore before. Glow stem. And what's that? Huh. A cocoon, huh? So this is Planet Phase. Uh. <laughs> 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 Phase on overload, press eight event, energy tanks! Uh, I won't let this phase on take over! <sighs> Venting energy tanks. Due to critical levels of internal phazon corruption, the emergency vent override has been triggered by the PED suit. All acquired energy tanks have been vented to temporarily prevent total corruption. Hypermode weapons no longer require the extinguishing of an energy tank to use. You are now permanently in hypermode. Unfortunately, this vent override can no longer be used. Damage as well as exposure to phases atmosphere will continue to raise your phase on level. Your phase on level is shown as a yellow bar at the top of the HUD. If your phase on level fills completely, you will die. Damn. I'm gonna go back in the ship and see what I look like. What? Invalid? What? Gunship no longer identifies you as Samus due to near total corruption. Access to ship is not permitted. Well, I guess the good thing about that is that if I get total, totally corrupted, then I guess the Galactic Federation will have to worry. What the hell am I saying? Am I actually worried about becoming corrupted? I'm not letting this phase on take over. Gotta get this done quickly. Ow! Yeah, basically any damage you take, you're going. That yellow bar is going to increase. You have to get those health pellets in order to decrease it, like right there. What kind of health is this? 
anti phase on units. Okay, then. What is this? Organic mass. Okay, so. Gotta use that. Uh, hyper grapple since we're using it technically since we're constantly in hyper mode now. There we go. And going down, this just reminds me of the final boss with Metroid Prime back in the impact crater from the first game. And. What is this? Can't grab smooth surfaces. I ah! What the hell? Ugh. Tentacle rape. <sighs> Nintendo, you Japanese. <laughs> Making us Americans do this. Making the Western Studio, Retro Studio, put that in. What's wrong with you, Nintendo? <laughs> Use the grapple voltage there to drain your energy into them, since we don't want any more phase on energy growing. Huh? Cluster of large crystals. Boom! Hmm. Just gotta keep moving before that yellow bar increases. To maximum! Hit me, don't hit me! Uh, this way. Got to take care of these things. There we go. Going down. Got to take care of more of them. Destroy all of them. Hey, and that's it for here. And what is that? Phase on puffer absorbs phase on energy from nearby bioforms to power its own attacks. Yeah, it's going to take the phase on away from you, and then it's going to blast you with it. Does a lot of damage, so be careful. And, oh god, gel sack. And I believe there's phase on Metroids in here! Destroy the crystals. Screw attack. I love that blue screw attack. Just looks awesome. Oh, oh, oh. oh crap. Get out of here, get out of here! And what do we have in here? Huh? Uh, tangle weed. I'm not even gonna comment. Anyway, I think I saw something up there. Yeah. All right, just allows the creatures to come in. Destroy all of them. Boom. That energy. Hyperball, hyperball. Oop. Damn, it takes a lot of hits to kill them. Boom. At least that explosion instantly kills them all. I don't believe we're gonna find another phase on Puffer here. Yep. Yeah, the pros about the phase on Puffer is that it takes phase on energy from you, but con is that, well, it hits you with it. It does a lot of damage. Probably the most deadliest thing I'd have to say you're gonna have to go through when going through this planet. And another one, really? Come on. Kill it. Kill it like the rest, and I'm gonna try and see if I can avoid this enemy right here, because it actually does have a scan, but it's kind of hard to... Well, yeah, we're not gonna see it. It is possible to get over here without killing that thing, and it actually does have a scan. It's like next to impossible to get, though. I did it in my practice run. Oh crap! Get off me! Uh, what's this? Creature's optical organ is vulnerable to shots, but it's being protected by thick plating. This? Alright then. Gotta take care of that then. Here we go. Get away. Now! Hmm. Now what? More of that. And more of these guys. Great. And oh look, they're finally entering hyper mode. Let's see. 
creatures entered hyper mode. Normal weapons deal less damage, vulnerable to hyper mode attacks, which is all we have now since we're permanently in hyper mode. So it doesn't even freaking matter. This place you don't want to avoid the enemies because you have to kill them all in order to proceed. It's the only way that whatever that crap is will break. Let's see what hyper missile does. Perfect. Got more ammo. Nope. Die! Oh! Surprise attack. More of them. Well, thank you for letting me release some of my energy. Thank you. Nope, come on. There we go. Now what? Going down again. And what the hell is that thing? Bioform, species unknown, mouth interior appears vulnerable. Damage it to loosen its grip. Uh, let go of me! I'll kill you! I swear it! Uh, uh, uh. Ow! What are these? Metroid X completely saturated with Phazon. Uh, oh crap, more of them. Get me out of here! Falling! Ow! And I think we're nearing the end, and we are. Get away from me! Stupid Metroids. Alright, what is this now? Okay. Rip that out! And what's that? Okay. And these? Alright. Now, that thing inside there, that's probably the hardest thing I would say in the game that you have to scan. And you have to scan it because it counts as a token. So let me try my best to scan it. Get these freaking Metroids out of here, though! Okay. No, come on. Oh, I just had it. No. No. Alright. There we go. Me Leviathan Infant. Okay, so basically we have to destroy that leviathan infant inside there. And then this leviathan seed, I'm assuming that's what it is, will break. I'm too lazy to look at what it's called again. Come on, come on, it takes a lot of hits to destroy. And once it's taken a certain amount of damage from this side, it's going to go over to the other side of it. So, got to get over there now. Just have to use the screw attack. And... Whoop. Nope. Friggin' Metroid wants to ruin my plan. Nope. Okay. RIP IT OUT! Okay, come on. Shoot, 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 shoot! Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, nope. Not this time. Get away, get away. They're just gonna keep coming, so don't bother. Yeah, it's over on the other side now. I believe gel sacks are gonna start appearing now. Yep. Okay, we should be nearing the enemy, and with the gel sacks appearing, that's kind of a sign. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Nope, get away, get off! side now great all right this should be the last time get get out of there Samus don't want you getting corrupted totally corrupted Oop. come on almost there god damn 
it's on the other side now, is that great? <sighs> Why I didn't fall down there. Nope. God damn you, Metroids! Finally! There we go. And all those mini roids. Okay. Well, man. Well, now. Going down! Hmm. <clears throat> so, what next, huh? What the? Huh? <clears throat> what the hell? Huh? What's this? Dark Samus. Hope you're ready to die! Let's do this! Dark Samus. Based on energy based entity disrupted by hypermode attacks. It's finally time for the final battle. You will pay for what you've done, Dark Samus! All this phase on corruption. Plus you killing my fellow brethren, Rundus. Gore and Gondreda. What the hell is she doing? What is that? Dark Sims is absorbing energy from phase itself to replenish her own. I won't let that happen! By shooting her with more phases on in. I am trying to scan life in the middle of the final battle. What the hell's wrong with me? Well, she has a shield defending herself now, and it's gone. I believe if you hit her with a hyper missile, it stuns her, yeah. And what now? A clone now? So it's not enough that you're a doppelganger of me, but now you have to make one of yourself. Dark Echo, huh? Ah, <sighs> you miss the Echo days, don't you, Dark Samus? Where I kicked your ass three times? Come on, bring it on! Ow! Three now. Use the X-ray visor here because she's gonna try and recover her health. And if you use the X-ray visor, you know which one is the real one. Come on! Come on! And, oh great, this attack. Oh, no? I was thinking of something else. Great, she's gonna try and recover again. And as soon as you stop her from doing this, she's gonna try and reform with them and basically stop your extra advisor attack, which I'm... I guess she's trying to prove me wrong here. Oh, uh, okay, nope. Oh, get away. And is she doing that attack that- okay, no, not- I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of an attack where she moves around the surface crazy with all her clones. Basically just going ape crap at you. And is she about to do that? Nope. Oh crap, is that a super- okay, thought that was a super missile for a second. Okay, here we go. No. Damn it, come on! I'm trying to make her show that attack, but she won't do it. Anyway, well, let's just end this! Let's do it with a hyper missile. Nope. Come on. Oop. Dodge, dodge. Go after the dark echo. Or not! Ow! Ow! Alright, this is that attack I was talking about. We should move crazy, so let's just use the hyperball and finish her off! <clears throat> Done for. Now then, any last. What the? No 
way. Aurora unit, I'm sorry, but I'm left with no other options. This is Aurora Unit 313. Hatch on its head protects core, damage core to sever cables. <sighs> sorry, 313. I'm sorry I couldn't save you when you were attacked and kidnapped. This is it. Alright, basically you want to do when like I said, sever those like it said, sever those cable and then cables and then attack it. And those yellow openings. And now it's stunned. Okay. Hatch on its head can be pulled open. Alright, so time to use that grapple lasso again. Rip it out! And then hit, hit, hit! And almost lost half its HP. Okay, more health. What's gonna do now? It's gonna fire its laser! Okay, nope. Not this time. It has a laser attack, I'm gonna wonder if it's gonna do it. I did not even know it could try and hit you with its tentacles. Okay, yep, firing its laser! Wanna dodge that at all costs, otherwise it'll be taking some serious damage. You know, I gotta say, something about this final boss, even the one with Dark Samus, is that I'm really kinda disappointed you don't get to use any of the weapons that you got from Rundisk and Drader or Gore. Really, I thought that just would have fitted well with the final boss. But, no. Well, it's not like you can use the ice missiles, the plasma beam, or the grapple voltage anymore. I mean, well, you could use the grapple voltage, but then again, I guess it would be the hyper grapple. I don't know. It's just kind of disappointing, in my opinion. But he's almost down. One more hit like that, and he's done for it. Oh, this is another attack where he sends a bunch of balls at you. <laughs> Explosive balls. Get them all before they hit. Get to you. Another dark echo. Better kill those for some energy. More of them. Come on. God, look at that thing. Can't even lock onto it. I guess I have to destroy the Dark Echo. Or, or not. Come on, come on. Nope. What's done here? Ow. That again? Come on. Just wasting my time. Okay, good. Stunned. Grapple lasso, and let's end it with a hyper missile. Or not. Still not down? The head. Severed cable has exposed a weak point that is vulnerable to attacks. Let me guess, the back. I guess correctly. Ow. And it looks like we're gonna probably have to stun it somehow. In order to deal a decent amount of damage to it. I mean we didn't even take away 25% of its health. Ow! Oh crap! I don't even want to know what it'd be like if we collided with that thing with the boost ball. And okay, good, it's stunned. Hit, 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 hit. Come on. Okay, halfway dead. And looks like that's the next thing we have to stun. Oh crap! Thank God we dodged that. More like it just narrowly missed us. Almost there. Damn it. Okay, only 25%. Damn, I sound like B. Ugh. That's the last person I want to sound like. But anyway. It, nope, not even not even close. This again. Probably the hardest of his attacks to dodge. 
Well then, him spinning around like he is right now. Okay, well, you know what? Let's collide with him. And I'm trying to, but I'm failing. Okay, it's not gonna work. Ow! Stunned. Just come on! Alright. One more time and he should be done. Hyper missile. Die! I'm sorry, Aurora unit. So now what? <laughs> huh, that's it? Weird. I was expecting something a lot more worse- <laughs> Phase on. I, it's gone. <sighs> I feel better. I feel pure. Oh, looks like it's time to get out of here. Damage reports coming in. We've lost 37% of the fleet. Half of the surviving ships are reporting heavy casualties. Sir, we've confirmed the wormhole has disappeared. All the Leviathans are gone. The crisis is over. What about Samus? Negative, sir. No contact. Now that's all over. It's just one more thing to do now. Rundus. Kendrada, you will not be forgotten.
And that, my friends, my fellow viewers, was Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. <sighs> Finally completed the Metroid Prime Trilogy. Looking back now, how, how I started the first one three years ago, just like I did with Pikmin. Sorry, I guess in the in the Pikmin 3 finale, I accidentally said I started it two years ago. It was three years ago. My bad. But yeah, can't believe it's finally over. <sighs> it was a fun time. Really fun time. But now, it's finally over. Unless if I ever decide to one day make a let's play of Metroid Prime Hunters, if Nintendo would just bring DS games over to the North American Virtual Console already, we'll just have to wait for that. <sighs> so, what to say? Well, this Metroid game, I'm not sure where I would place this in my top favorite Metroid games, but it's definitely, well, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It's probably either have to be the first one or the first Metroid Prime or Super Metroid, which I'll have to see if I'll have to get to Let's Play in that game eventually. I mean, I did say I would Let's Play all the Metroid games, didn't I, in an earlier episode? <laughs> and what are those things appearing from the side of the screen? Thought we got rid of all the phase on. Oh, well, it's just the credits. Who cares? But, since I've pretty much finished the Metroid Prime games, this obviously doesn't mean that I won't be let's playing more Metroid games, because you always know that I, Sergeant Mario, will always find another Metroid to play. Spreading the light of hope through the dark. Uh, was I talking over that voice? Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Well, <laughs> I'll see you guys later for my next Let's Play. And it won't be another Metro game, sorry. But don't worry, like I said, there will always be another Metroid to play. Because I'm Sergeant Mario 101. <laughs> and Let's Playing Metroid games is my thing. <laughs> see you guys later.